what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i have arrived at my hotel it was quite a long travel to tampa so i'm here royal rumble weekend 2024 monday night raw the undertaker's one man show dead one dead man show excuse me on sunday fragrance apprentices landing i would assume by now in tampa just spoke to the nigerian giant omos about an hour ago on the phone getting everything situated and certain fragrances were requested by these gentlemen for me to bring plus i brought some random stuff for me to wear slash using some content with these guys because we will be filming some dedicated smell and rate videos at least one for sure as well as some vlog content on top of some wrestling you know a wrestling vlog that's going to go on my vlog channel but i wanted to touch base with you guys and go over the 12 fragrances that i brought for the trip that are going to get used for one thing or another so stay tuned First things first, one of the newest releases, Boss the Scent Elixir. I plan on wearing this one. I quite love this fragrance. It is a beautiful, spicy, fruity, slightly boozy type of feel, a little bit aromatic and woodsy, a warm woodsy type of feel. Even though I believe it's sandalwood, it's not really all that creamy. You have pimento, um, and the Meninka is not listed, but it's clear as day here in this, uh, this DNA. It's what the line's known for. Uh, performance has been really good for me so far. I'm super happy to have this one. I think it's going to be one of the better designers released this year. Um, I'm definitely going to wear it. I don't know if we we'll use it in some content or not, but boss the scent elixir. Per the request of George Atkinson, the fragrance apprentice, he wants to wear signature Royale to the Royale Rumble. So Zaharoff signature Royale. I'll probably wear this at some point this weekend myself because I haven't worn this one in a while. This doesn't get the kind of love it deserves because Royal X is personally my favorite of the three. It's a beautiful citrus clean musk type of fragrance. And then you have Royal Triple X in collaboration with Joey Canoli. Shout outs to my guy. Uh, that's a much more animalistic, musky, funky, sexualized type of scent profile that is a little bit more of a challenge for me, but very well beloved. They sold out rather quickly. So this one doesn't get the love it deserves because the evolutions of this prof profile just got better and better but this is a nice citrus based light white floral i believe it's magnolia that's in here with a blonde wood feel and a little bit of resins to kind of darken up that woody tone though it's on the creamy side it's very sandalwood heavy this is good stuff and this is supposedly what the fragrance apprentice wants to wear to the royal rumble it's a Horoff signature royale now i just got this bottle recently i absolutely love it i've seen that it's quite the polarizing fragrance that a lot of people don't seem to like it even remotely as close as much as i like it but i had to bring yves saint laurent's baby cat with me i love this fragrance it's a beautiful spicy peppery pink pepper black pepper combo rich and creamy vanilla dense cedar wood a nice smoky accord i love the way this stuff smells this is so good i highly doubt i'll get through the the four nights that I'm here without wearing this fragrance. It'll probably get used in some content because I'm genuinely curious what these two gentlemen think about this fragrance. They won't know what's being used in the content because I got 12 and only five are gonna make that kind of video. So at random it will be, but if you haven't tried this yet, give it a try. I absolutely adore it. That's why I sell Baby Cat. Something a little on the challenging side that I'm curious to get some opinions on is Mancera's Deep Forest, rich resinous green and funky. A little bit on that uh, animalic side, kind of funky, civet, musky type of smell. Um, dark and woodsy, rich and resinous, kind of an earthy green. It's really good, but it's a little bit of a challenge for me. It really is. It's one of those fragrances that I can respect, but I don't think it's super wearable for me. This is one of those situations having one hand where I wish it wasn't a screw on cap and it was one of the magnetic ones. But... This is uh, not the safest blind buy out there. It was a total blind buy for me. I do tons of blind buys because I'm constantly just, you know, rolling the dice to test my nose versus cross-referencing the notes after the fact. But if you like deep, dense greens, coniferous, dark, woodsy, and earthy, you might like this one. This is a true artistic expression because the name of the fragrance matches the scent. It's Mancera Deep Forest. Speaking of Mancera, one I've been eager to spend more time with since I got in the same hall as Deep Forest is Mancera's Wild Leather. And it is very much a leather dominant fragrance. It's nothing crazy, you know, not as rich and animalic as I anticipated it to be. It's actually rather smooth when it dries down. It's not too smoky, but it is a little smoky and woodsy. 
very leather heavy. Um, I would call this more of a black leather type of a cord than a soft, supple brown leather because it does have that edgy tone to it, kind of the bad boy feel, if you will, with a quite unique, like a, is that leopard print, I believe, bottle. Um, I definitely want to spend some more time with this and potentially get some opinions on it from these guys. Mancera Wild Leather. A powdery rose, kind of patchouli-ish, very much dominatrix style, taboo kind of fragrance. It is from New Notes. This is Erotica Minimal. This is special. This is not an everyday wear, but I like it. I like it quite a bit, and I'm curious to see what these guys are going to think. And I might even wear this one at some point. I'm not sure. I got a, you know, a handful of days that I'm going to be needing some scent of the day options, uh, potentially even something in the evenings. Like I might wear this to Undertaker's One Dead Man show. I'm going to be wearing all black Undertaker's collaboration with Nine Line Apparel. I got the shirt. I got the hoodie. I got all that good stuff going. A lot of black going on this weekend. So. Kind of goes with the vibe, so I might end up rocking that. I don't know if it'll get used in content or not, but this is special. This one very much surprised me, and definitely not a safe blind buy, but totally worth a sample. New Notes Parfums Erotica Minimala. Another one that's like a must-pack when traveling at this point for me is the new Zaharoff Signature Halfetti Black Rose. Stunning stuff right here. Masculine rose, uber spicy, woodsy. Nice and smoky. I mean, very, very smoky. And a little bit on the drier side. I don't get much sweetness. I've seen some people saying they get some of the Tonka out of this one. I don't really get any sweetness out of this. It's more dry and spicy and ambery than anything else on my skin with, uh, with that nice, rich rose smell. I love a good rose fragrance. This is a phenomenal rose fragrance. I would encourage you getting a sample and trying this. I don't think either of these gentlemen have tried it. Um, I don't even necessarily think this will get used in a video, but I definitely want to see what they think about it. I'm going to, you know, have them test it out and see what's what. But another one that's in the strong running to get worn by me this weekend because it's just so phenomenal. I bought a bunch of, brought a bunch of really, really good stuff with me. At least I think so. But this will get used for one thing or another this weekend. Zaharoff Signature Black Rose. Now, not everything's dark and animalic and spicy and heavy. I did bring Argos Birth of Venus. Fresh and fruity, a little bit of sea salt and dark chocolate. This is vibrant. This is bright. This is fun, flirty, and fresh. This is a great fragrance. This is the one I wear the most of Christian's newest releases. That is so beautiful. It's almost like the fresh version of Adonis Awakens. It's not as heavy on the rose. Oh, but it's on the heavy side of the fruits and the citruses. I absolutely love this fragrance. Performance is great. This is the freshest fragrance from the house, in my opinion. Uh, it's marketed for the ladies, but fellas, totally unisex. Smells phenomenal. Not too heavy on the powder, not too heavy on the gourmand notes. I barely get any chocolate. I get more sea salt than anything else. And even then, it's not really all that salty, but it does mix well as a nice uh, contrasting nuance to some of the fruitiness and the citruses. This is beautiful. It's Argos, Birth of Venus. Next is a stunner that the more I pull the cap and smell this one, the more I start to fall for it. Smoky, heavy dark chocolate, a bitter dark chocolate, not semi-sweet. This is Fort Mantel Bajnikov. Man, is this stunning. This is a stunning fragrance that I myself have not given a full wearing to as of yet. That might change this weekend. I don't know. And I definitely want to know what they think about this one at some point as well. I didn't bring anything I didn't want them to try uh, to get some opinions. Some will get used in videos. Some will just be us randomly sniffing fragrances. Wearability, not super high for me, but wow factor. Very much up there. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, and since it's a special, memorable type of weekend, maybe it's the time to pull this one out. Not a safe blind buy like I did, but man, is it a stunner. Fort Mantel Bajnikov. This is much more easy going. This is one of the better designers to come out last year that you can get for around 70 or 80 bucks. Shout out to Joel's Matrix for the recommendation on Chapard's Cedar Malachi. Just like the color scheme here, it's cedar heavy, a lot of greens, cypress, uh, bright aromatics, but it also has a nice smokiness, an incense note to kind of ground the scent, if you will. And it's actually quite pleasing. It's not a heavy, challenging type of wear. It's not crazy. Um, earthy or anything like that. There's a little bit of an earthy tone to it, but there's also a freshness that kind of counters that earthy tone. So 
Beautiful nuance to this one, great performance. This is great everyday masculine wear in the transitional season, such as fall and spring, which we're kind of getting spring weather over here now. I mean, the high is gonna be 80 tomorrow. Um, the low, and then it dips down the highs 60 the next day, but still that's nothing crazy cold. Perfect type of weather for a fragrance like this. A Chapard's Cedar Malachi. These last two are per the request of the Nigerian giant Omos, my man Jordan. I was doing a live stream on the Gate Fragrances Desert Caravan, as well as Pure Oud Diction. And he requested that I bring both of them for him to check them out. Pure Oud Diction, I think I prefer. It's a little bit on the drier side, super, super smoky. I mean, super smoky, leathery type of fragrance. And Desert Caravan, those of you that don't like Castorium, need to tread lightly because i get a little bit of that fecal castorium type of smell in the initial spray of this one and i was like "Ooh, this would turn some people off and I, it sounds off-putting and some of you watching when i say this are going to be like how in the hell could you say that smells good and attractive in any way you got to smell it to know what i'm talking about here there's some charm to this scent profile super challenging not for everyone i don't know if i'll ever wear it but I can sure appreciate it. If I do wear it, it's going to be for a very special event where obviously I'm not wearing a flat bill and a, you know, dirty Dominic Mysterio t-shirt, which fun fact, apparently a ton of people that are going to the Rumble are staying at my hotel because I've been stopped, including the guy that checked me in, including the valet, by seven other people that wanted to talk about the Rumble and have a good laugh at the Dirty Dom shirt because he's, you know, the hated heel and everything. Uh, I had to hear about, oh, it would have been funnier if you were wearing mommies on top. Well, I have a bunch of Rhea Ripley shirts. I just didn't bring them. I brought one. I'm getting off topic here, obviously, but it's a wrestling packed weekend and it's loads of wrestling fans, loads of people that are in town for the Royal Rumble. It's a big deal. It's a big event for wrestling fans. But this one, sample first, dangerous, dangerous blind buy. Now, pure oud diction, same thing. I would say it is not a safe blind buy. Tread lightly here, but I would say it's the better of the two, more wearable for me, more my style because it's centered around uh, woods, leather, incense. The oud here has a little bit of sweetness to it with an animalic touch. Like it's, I would say this is the special one of the two. This one, from time to time, you'll see me reaching for. It's the Gate Fragrances Pure Oud Diction and the Gate Fragrances Desert Caravan. Well, that's the 12 that I brought with me. Going to be an exciting weekend. We got the Fragrance Apprentice flew here from Scotland. We have the Nigerian Giant drove into town. I drove in to town as well. We are going to the Rumble tomorrow. Uh, Jordan Omas, he's got a bunch of media stuff he's doing. So we won't link up tomorrow. Then Sunday, we're going to record some content in his hotel. Then we're going to hit Nordstrom and do some fragrance shopping and sniffing and stuff like that. Then Sunday night, I've got the Undertaker's One Dead Man show. Then Monday, we have Monday Night Raw. The two best Raws of the year are after the Rumble and after Mania, because the one after the Rumble sets up the road to WrestleMania. So it's a great weekend. All of you wrestling fans, make sure you're tuned in. This video will drop the day of the Royal Rumble. This is coming out tomorrow. I'm recording this Friday night. I'm giddy and excited. I don't know what else to tell you. If you happen to get your hands on any of the fragrances that I brought and you give them a spray now, Pretty confident you'll thank me later. These are not your typical run-of-the-mill mass appealing designers. I had to bring some stuff that's a little bit more on the special side because of the event and who I'm dealing with here in these situations. We're going to have some fun. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. Catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.